Now, Chief Meteorologist Brian Davis and your Storm Team 2 forecast. All right, here's your forecast this evening. 7 o'clock, 71 degrees. We'll be looking for partly cloudy skies. Actually looks like a pretty nice evening. Only a very slight chance of an isolated shower early tonight and uh, even past shortly past midnight. 69 at 9 o'clock, 68 at 11 p.m. It'll be past midnight and into tomorrow morning that'll rain will become likely, especially past 3 or 4 o'clock in the morning. We'll be looking at some rain moving in. Could be some heavy thunderstorms, even some gusty winds, especially late morning and into the early afternoon. Still a chance of showers late day. Even though we only drop off into the mid 60s tonight, you can see not much of a rise in temperatures throughout the day tomorrow because of the cloud cover and also the rain moving through. Overnight lows, though, unseasonably mild for this time of year, more like the daytime highs that we would normally expect with readings into the 60s. And tonight, our time lapse up in Troy at the Stouter Center showing some of the partly cloudy skies that have developed across the region. You can see the breaks in the clouds tonight that have developed, and uh, some of those will be around, as I mentioned, through this evening. Now, we're not seeing a lot of rain. Dry right now across Montgomery County. One isolated shower northeast corner of Champaign County, and that's just about out of our viewing area. Rest of the Channel 2 viewing area pretty much dry at this time. But off to the southwest, a different story. We've been tracking those heavy thunderstorms, a squall line pushing across southern Illinois, now into the western part of Kentucky and western Tennessee. Out ahead of it, even an isolated uh, mesoscale or a, a, a what we call a, a mesoscale convective system right here, a thunderstorm that's popped up. And uh, this storm right now is moving northward, heading up toward the western portions of Kentucky. And notice, though, the movement pretty much straight from south to north, this mesocyclone. Uh, so with this kind of a weather pattern, uh, looks like the main threat of severe weather tonight will stay off to the west of us over eastern sections of Illinois and the western portions of Indiana. You can see the current watches and warnings that are taking place across the uh, central part of the country. 77 are high today, 60 are low temperature this morning. We had just about a quarter of an inch of rain, but more on the way. 76 degrees right now with a south wind at 15 miles an hour. And in Springfield, 75 degrees, a relative humidity 67% peak wind gust past hour at 24 miles an hour. As we look at temperatures across the state, unseasonably mild with those temperatures in the 70s. Gusty south winds bringing in the unseasonably mild air, even a current wind speed of 21 miles an hour down towards Cincinnati. Future track forecast, watch the rain move in tonight. Dry conditions at 9 o'clock. Still dry as we head towards midnight, 1 o'clock in the morning, but here comes the rain. We'll see that around for the morning commute tomorrow at 6 o'clock, and where you see the red, that's where more than likely we're going to be seeing some heavy showers and thunderstorms uh, passing across the region. And by late in the day, it looks like a cold front will be through. We'll start to get back to some drier conditions as we head toward evening. Tonight, breezy and mild, some of that late night rain down to 64. Showers, thunderstorms tomorrow, rain heavy at times, and windy tomorrow, but mild, at least up around 70 for the high. Not much movement in temperatures. Heaviest rain likely late morning and into the early afternoon. Your Storm Team 2 seven-day forecast. Still a chance of lingering showers Wednesday and into Thursday, but not too bad at the end of the week as we head toward the weekend.